Hey, what's up? Today I wanna to break down a commercial that I shot for Yeti. It was a spec commercial and it was so much fun to make. So I'm excited to be able to take you a little bit behind the scenes of how I came up with the idea. Now, I know that Yeti typically goes after the outdoor market. They go after fishers, they go after hunters, they go after campers. Um, and I thought it would be kind of cool to showcase the more urbanite type of people utilizing their water bottles in the everyday scenario. And so that's what I did. From there, I really wanted to create a mood and feeling for the project, and so that's where I actually use today's sponsor, which is Frameset. Frameset is an image-based website for you to pull references from movies, music videos, and commercials. This is super helpful for me as a cinematographer because I'm able to pull references from different projects that I like um, to create a mood and feeling for the projects that I'm working on. So let's jump into Frameset and show you how I utilize it on an everyday basis. So you can see when you open up Frameset, you're introduced to all of these different images from different types of projects, whether that's a movie, a music video, or a commercial. And I can save these and download them to my computer and add them to my projects for reference later. But when I'm wanting to use the search feature, let's say I wanted to type in something like tennis. Now all of a sudden I have all of these different tennis images and these are super helpful. But what's even more helpful is the filter section on the left-hand column. I can choose things from color, aspect ratio, saturation, contrast, and so much more. For instance, one of my favorite things is interior and exterior. So let's say I wanna choose exterior for the tennis court. I want it to be during sunset so I can choose the time of day. And let's say I really just want one person in the frame. Now all of a sudden I'm greeted with all of these different images during sunset on a tennis court with one person in the frame. I use Frameset for every single one of my projects. It not only helps me uh, as a creator put together the project and create a mood and a feeling for it, but it also will help the client visualize what the project is going to look like. Make sure to check out Frameset with the affiliate link down below because it is an amazing resource. There is so much to check out. Make sure to do that. And uh, thank you to Frameset for sponsoring this video. So once I downloaded all my images, I started plugging it away in a storyboard and this is what the storyboard looked like. I wanted to have the opening scene with a skateboarder rolling through town, drinking a water bottle, then jump to a tennis player, and then also go into somebody on a motorcycle. I thought that would be really cool. And then ending with a mom at home taking care of their kid with the kid roaming around and causing a problem. And so what I simply did was just used all of those images that I downloaded from Frameset, and I just started plugging them away. So you can see that I have images of somebody setting up a skateboard, holding the bottle while riding the skateboard. I even have things like fast movement while playing tennis. And of course, because it's a spec commercial, I needed to have people drinking out of the water bottle. And so I was able to pull all of these different images in and put it together in a one fluid storyboard. And what I love about storyboarding is it helps me visualize the project from afar before I even start. It's just super helpful for preparation on your end because when you go into shooting, you actually know exactly what you're wanting to get. And that leads us to the day of shooting for all of these different projects. So with this project in particular, I wanted a really natural feeling flow to the video. And so I decided to go handheld because I just felt like it would really feel like there's a lot of movement and motion within the project. And so that's what I did. Every single frame is handheld except one scene in particular where it's locked off on a tripod, which we'll get to that. But also everything's naturally lit. So I have no artificial lighting. Um, this was really just to be more effective on set. Um, and just get things done quickly and also have a really natural look to it. We also shot with the Sony a7S III with a Tamron 28 to 75 because some of you were asking what camera I use. That's what it is because I only have one camera and let's just start breaking down the commercial. So the opening scene for the commercial is the skateboard and the Yeti bottle in the frame and then you can see someone pops up in the frame, pops the board out and rolls away. This is where it cuts to probably one of my favorite scenes which is the um, shot of it filming down on the pavement. And I really wanted to reveal the skateboarder in the frame, so that's why we found a road during sunset that was uh, had the yellow stripes down the road. And then I just slowly like panned up to him in the frame. From here, we have him drinking out of the water bottle. Um, this was actually a really fun shot to get because the train was coming by and it wasn't planned at all. And so we quickly ran over to where the train tracks were. We got as close as we could without dying. And uh, we just filmed Dylan drinking out of the water bottle and he drank the water like a champion. So thank you, Dylan. 
So then we jumped to the tennis court shots and all of these different scenes were filmed on different days just because I had limited time during sunset. And so here we were at the tennis court with my wife. I just had her walking down the court holding tennis balls and the water bottle. Then it cuts to her drinking. Again, we're just trying to plug the Yeti water bottle for that spec commercial to make it look like it's a legitimate commercial. This was actually probably my favorite shot of the whole entire commercial and it was planned so last minute. I thought it would be really cool to have the ball rolling down the court and then it's revealed to the talent grabbing the ball and then we would spin around and she'd hit it. Again, this was all handheld so there was nothing like really like fancy with it. I just simply rolled the ball and then I followed the ball and then as she grabbed it, I just panned up and spun around her and I was able to frame it off really nicely to where you can still see the ball in the frame and then you can see her hitting it. From there, we jumped to the locked off shots of uh, me on a motorcycle and this is where I was kind of bummed. I wanted to be able to film everything handheld but I decided to throw in the motorcycle and I couldn't find anybody to help me film that day. So I just brought my tripod, locked it off, filmed a few scenes of me drinking my water bottle, throwing it in the bag, starting the bike and rolling away. Something to note about this frame right here of the bike rolling away, I actually cranked the shutter on the camera to reduce motion blur and I realized that I actually don't like it at all. So this frame really bothers me with the commercial and I'm just being honest and open with you to let you know that that was something that I did and I'm not happy with it, but it worked out anyway and I decided to use it. From here, I think we have a really fun cut to um, uh, a boy on a bike and I purposefully mesh these two together because I wanted to showcase somebody on a motorcycle then jumping down to somebody on a bicycle in a kid-like sense. And so um, you're gonna be able to hear in the edit that you can still hear the motorcycle rumble through this frame where he's riding his little bicycle through the house. This was just at a friend's house. And again, I just shot it handheld, natural light. We were at a good time of day to shoot. And I just filmed their kid rolling around the house, chasing their mom. I have said this before in a few videos, but I love handheld shots because I just feel like there's a liveliness to it. Um, gimbals are great for certain type of stuff, but I'm just not a big fan of gimbal work um, personally on my projects. Um, I will use them when necessary, but I just really love a handheld look and I just think it looks really lively. So right before we wrap up the commercial, I thought it would be really good to kind of recap what they just saw. And so what we did was we filmed different types of frames with the water bottle itself. And so you can see that here where Dylan's walking with his skateboard down the street. I'm on my motorcycle. You can see that mom is drinking the water bottle. And then you can see that um, the bottle is on the tennis court with a bunch of tennis balls. And then we end with the last shot of the commercial. But what's funny about the last shot is this is actually the very first thing that I filmed for the whole entire Yeti project. I was at the golf course, I brought my camera, I thought it would be kind of fun to film the bottle in the grass while I hit a golf ball. And that's exactly what we did. And it was a really simple shot. Obviously the commercial is like super simple. There's nothing like really like razzle dazzle about it. I mean, it's all naturally lit, it's all handheld. There's nothing like super special. Um, obviously like every project too, I have to add sound to my projects. And so you can hear like city streets with the skateboarding, you can hear cars, you can hear trains. When you get to the tennis court, you're actually able to hear like tennis court sounds going back and forth. You're able to hear people chanting. I added birds and one sound effect that I actually added, which is kind of funny. And I don't know if people can even hear it in the project, but there's a thunderclap when the engine starts. Yeah, sound design is so important for all of your different projects. So make sure to do that because that is what's going to add another layer to your short film, your commercial, uh, your video, whatever it is that you're working on, make sure to add sound effects. When it comes to the color grading process, like everything, I color grade and film convert. So nothing really crazy, but I really wanted to have like a nice, warm, vibrant feel for the project. And so everything was shot at sunset. Um, everything has a nice, warm and vibrant look to it. I boosted the saturation a little bit. But yeah, if you go into Film Convert, you can see really quickly that, you know, you have this log footage. I'm able to throw it together, change the temperature, all of those different things. And uh, it just works out really well. And I love Film Convert. 
for every one of my projects. So is this project perfect? Absolutely not. But what I learned from making this commercial is that it's so much better if you just get out and make the thing that you're wanting to make. Stop worrying about it being perfect and put it out into the world. It's okay if it's not perfect. Not everybody's gonna notice all the little flaws and quirks that you messed up on in the shoot. People are gonna see your work, they're gonna appreciate it, they're gonna love it, and your work is valuable and you need to be able to share it in the world. So don't get caught up in all of the different technical things that need to happen and just go hit publish, go edit that video, go shoot it, go make it happen because when you put it out, now you're able to showcase your friends, you're gonna be able to show it to clients, and you now have a proof of concept for a bigger project in the future. And that is really what has motivated me to make this and just get it out and not get too hung up and work and edit on it for months. I hope you found this video helpful at all. If you did, please make sure to like and subscribe so I can make more videos like this. I wanna thank Frameset for sponsoring this video and making this project come to life. And again, Frameset is an amazing resource that I use on every single one of my projects. So make sure to click the affiliate link down below um, and check out Frameset because it is a phenomenal thing and will pay itself back over and over and over again for you as a cinematographer, I promise promise you that. If I didn't answer any of your questions in this video, please make sure to ask that down below. I would love to be able to connect with you guys and I will see y'all in the next video. I'm always so bad at these, but we'll see you later.